Okay, Michael Coe, go ahead. Hey, Coach. What changed for your team in that late first half run that you guys had to take the lead? It looked like the defensive intensity really stepped up, and Armando obviously got going down low. Well, that that was exactly it. It was it was us uh, defensively. We weren't in a very good rhythm on the offensive end, um, in large part because of the uh, defense and the pressure of of Clemson. They're an outstanding defensive team, and we just struggled generating consistent good looks. And um, we just started defending. You know, I've, I've told you guys this before. You know, for us, we've identified our recipe to put ourselves in a position to be successful, and that's. Uh, be good defensively, rebound the basketball, and also take care of the basketball. And I felt like in the latter part, uh, the middle of the first half, we started defending, we started rebounding, and we started taking care of the basketball. Thank you. Greg Barnes. Hubert, can you walk us through that that final play and uh, what options were available there? Yeah, you know, we, um, we wanted everybody flat uh, on the baseline. And um, we had um, Leakey come down and set a down screen on, um, on Brady so that his man, he could create some separation um, as he went out to set the ball screen on Caleb. We put the ball in Caleb's hands because, um, you know, RJ, you know, he had six assists. I think it was six assists, zero turnovers. But Caleb just hit a three. And so we just felt like, hey, you know, he's, he's feeling good about himself. And um, Brady was able to set the screen. And because of that separation from the screen off of Leakey, Caleb was able to get downhill and uh, he was get downhill, get to the basket. Uh, I'm so proud of Brady. You know, most of the time he picks and pops, but he recognized that Caleb was going to the basket. And so either Caleb could dish it off to him or he could be there in position to get the offensive rebound. It was a great pass by Caleb to um, um, to Brady, and it was, it, was, it was a great finish by him. Thank you. Andrew. Coach, as someone who played this game for a long time, uh, what does it say about Caleb's mental toughness to make that play and do exact, to be able to read and make the play as he did, especially five turnovers tonight, another so-so shooting night, but he stepped up late and had the mental toughness to make that play? That uh, it is, you know, you know, him and everybody on the team. You know, one of the things that we talk about a lot is, um, you know, ne next possession, next play, um, next next possession, next play. And, um, you know, there were times that things didn't go well for us. And, and some of those times were self-induced. And uh, to be able to come back on the next possession, you know, next shot, next play, and be able to step up, I think it shows a lot about how tough Caleb is, how resilient he is, and um, I'm just so proud of him. Um, you know, there were times where he made mistakes, but it's, it's about making big plays and big moments, and we don't win this game without Caleb. I'm so proud of him. Thank you. Austin, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Um, you know, battling out a physical contest down there, you know, Little John in front of a hostile environment like that, I was just kind of wondering, you know what it says about the team at this point in the year you know to be able to kind of hang in there with all the things that happened that night and you know come out with the win i mean this is something you know like a lot of people bring up um you know they keep bringing up you know what happened against tennessee kentucky you know duke and um you know miami and wake forest and and I, I, I wish people would, would talk about how this group um, continues to bounce back. You know, we had a tough week against, you know, Miami and, and, uh, and Wake Forest, and, and, and we bounced back, you know, and getting four straight wins. And then we had a really tough loss against Duke on Saturday, and we had to go on the road in a couple of days and play against a Clemson team that has always played us extremely well, especially here at Clemson. And, to come away with the win, I'm just so proud of them, and I hope people can see and can be proud of these kids and how hard they fight and how hard they compete and, and um, the consistency of them bouncing back every time that they get knocked down. CL, go ahead. Hubert, how much more comfortable would you say, uh, comfortable?
for my too strong of a word, but what do you feel like the difference was in, in the closing minutes today uh, after having that experience against Louisville, both in the closing minutes of that game and in the overtime? Uh, did, did they at all seem like, you know, maybe – maybe more at ease and less pressure in the situation no that you know in the huddle they were they were they were a little out of control and i was trying to calm them down and just say look guys we we've been in this situation before uh, just last week and i i made a joke to them i said look guys all we need to do is score and get a stop and we win and i said you know the great thing about it is let, let, i said let's let, let's try not to go into overtime let's, let, let's win this game in regulation so we can get home at a good time good hour of the night and they all started laughing i think it loosened them up a little bit but um i think it really helped that we had been in this situation before and um and and been successful in it and so it was a situation where you know we we felt comfortable in what we needed to do on both ends of the floor and all we needed to do was just execute uh brandon and adam last two for coach all right coach leaky hit a big leaky black hit a big three-pointer in the second half he had a very similar three-pointer down the stretch against louisville could you just speak to his confidence and uh him stepping up and giving your team points when your uh when your team needs it he's been great all season um i can't say enough about leaky and the type of impact and season that he's having uh, for our team, uh, you know, everyone talks about how terrific he is on the defensive end, and he is. Um, he leads our team in assist to turnover ratios, an outstanding rebounder, and when left open, he makes timely plays. You know, I, I think he had zero points in the first half. The second half, he had 11 points. Not only that, that big three, but he had you know a couple finishes around the basket, the pull-up jumper. We had him switched on to number two, number 12, number 13. I mean, we had him on everybody. And so Leakey continues to have an unbelievable season. And um, I love coaching him. And um, I'm really proud of him. Thank you. All right, Adam, go ahead. Hubert, was that uh, was that with when the game was tied 77-77 when you hit him with the Chris Rock uh, joke about not going to overtime? Was that the timeout where you – tried to lighten the mood a little bit there was a couple times i tried to lighten the mood because everybody you know and i because everybody was you know thinking about you know things that have happened in the past i said you know those we got to think about where we are right now we got to think about you know getting a stop score executing on both ends of the floor and i just you know one of the things i don't know if it helps but i, I if, if they see me under control, my hope is, is that they'll feel comfortable that everything is okay. And and at the end of the day, it's just a game of basketball. I know it's um, very competitive and there's a lot on the line, but at the end of the day, it's just basketball. And it's something that we always love and enjoy. And I want them to enjoy these moments and embrace them. I don't want them to run from them and feel like this is a place to be stressed or worried. It's a place to enjoy and love and, and experience. Did you, the very, the very end there when you're drawing up the play for Caleb and the screen and everything, you're hoping he turns the corner, I guess. Did you have any special instructions for him? Like, you know, go ahead and take it or look for Brady on the roll? Or, like, no. did you have any anything special? No, right before we went out, I looked at him. I said, you know, if you want to make a shot, you're allowed to make one. I give you permission to score. And he just laughed. And I said, just make a play. I said, if you're open, shoot the ball and make it. If somebody's open, just make the pass. And 